What's up guys? It's your crazy guy Tony here with yet another training video. Welcome back to our channel. But before we start the training video guys, I'd like to give a warm shout out to Mr. Jormis Ariza Cortez and his Malanua Ali down in the Philippines. They train obedience and I am a sucker for people who train obedience. So I've had a happy moments of sharing some basic few tips to enhance their um, obedience work and they are doing great. So keep up the good work, Mr. Cortez. Ali is just an amazing dog. So I actually noticed that from the heel position, when I give the heel command and she needs to kick back to a stand, she is not stretching out her body um, good enough for me. So I need to work and brush up on this. Now I checked the log uh, to see when was the last time we did some work on this. And yes, I do keep a log on my dog's training, which is very advisable um, to have. Now, I've seen that it's been a while since we've done any work on this uh, segment uh, of stretching her body. So, it is no wonder that she is lagging on it. So, that is what the video will be about and also adjusting some other body movements on those heel start. <laughs> Basically starting the training with a few repetition of how I want the kick back to stand movement to be. So here I am using um, an elevated tool for her to have that kick back stand motion. By adding up the hand target exercise, I get more control on her upper body and also having control on those head positions, which I will also be using during the heel position. The ball causes a lot of expectations for Okami, which leads to having her body in great tension. Now, I want her to get used to be working with the ball visible or at least knowing that I have it, but at the same time maintaining all criteria that I ask of her. The main reason why I am pushing Okami's rear end down is because I want her to associate that stand position after doing a kick back to stand, allowing her to counter the movement for every time I push it down, which is how I want the stand to be. I call this muscle memory training. So every time I ask her to do a kick back to stand, she associate that stand with that push uh, with her rear end being pushed down uh, making her counter that movement automatically which allows me to have a firmer and better stand it is very important that you don't injure your dog so though it looks like that i am very forceful when pushing her down i am actually not doing so i don't apply any pressure unless she counters the movement and just enough for her to understand what it is I am trying to train her. So do be very careful with your dogs, guys.
I find that allowing my dog to fail and give her a chance to show me that she has learned the movement allows for better room for progress. Now, in my opinion, mo many handlers out there help their dog too much, not allowing the dog to make any choice, and therefore we are not aware if they have managed to pair the command with the body movements that we have taught them. And also, it makes learning more longer. Here you'll see Ukami adjust those positions all on her own. Now I've taught her how to do this of course, but she needs to do it on her own. Okami is trained with a lot of commands which allows me to control certain body movements that I want her to be doing like in this case moving her rear end closer to the right. All right, switching from body position training to focus training. So from my previous uh, training with Okami, I noticed that the minute we take that or the second we take that very first step, she have a look on the ball on the right or a look on the ball on the uh, left side of my hand uh, before bringing her focus back on me. Now, although this is just a split second, I want those focus 100% dedicated on me and nowhere else. Here I am using two balls just to make it much, much easier for her to understand where I want those eyes fixed. This allows me to avoid any conflict or misunderstanding that might happen having a ball on my left hand. Now I'm very particular with my obedience training so I train very detailed keeping everything in black and white maintaining those criteria at all times. Now it's very easy to think that when I send her to the ball, I do it because I want to reward her when in fact I'm doing it to, do, to bring the ball's attention back to her and then making her make a choice that is hopefully the right one, only focusing on me on taking that very first step. Using ball control commands that I've created for Okami allows for such better and greater control on those reward. Okay guys, that just wraps up our training session for now. I do hope you found it enjoyable to watch. Now of course we end our session with some tug and play time with my awesome Ukami. Always remember guys to brush up on those basics, basics, basics. Do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will also find us on Facebook and on Instagram flying with the same name, Gulekula Dogs. 
always keep yourself safe and motivated. Thank <laughs> you.